this is so interesting to me. Usually in football, it's not like boxing or the UFC. You just say nice things about your opponent. You say, man, they're underrated. They, they fly around. They're well coached. They're talented. I mean, they just do everything great. And the Niners right. do that. Everyone does it. The Niners did that with the Cowboys. They did it with all their opponents, but not the Eagles. When asked about the Eagles in the lead up to the game, they were all like, <sighs> they knew. We'll see. We'll see. You know, they're great on paper, but we'll see, which was not how the Eagles talked about the Niners. It's not how the Niners talked about any other team. Now they lost. And still, it's like, ah, you know, I just don't, I don't know about the Eagles. I think the Chiefs, why can the Niners not give the Eagles their due? And their fan, what is it about the Eagles that triggers Niners and their fan base so much? What because I don't think the Eagles are bothered by the Niners. And I think the Niners feel it. Um, yeah. We get a little bit of a kick out of kind of being the pretty girl in the room. Um, yeah. Everybody sees yeah. us coming. Uh, yeah. They respect every all phases of our team from the front mm -hmm. office to the head coaching, to the staff, to the players. Um, and it's just, you know, we're, 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 uh, we're, thorough, we're a thoroughbred franchise. And yeah. sometimes. But, but I, also insecure because you don't have the hardware to back it up. You haven't been exactly, wiped up yet. Exactly. And the Eagles, they got a recent one, you know. And, yep. you know, I think Cat Williams said a 300 looked good. It looked like a phantom until a phantom until rolled up. That's right. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. So, That's right. That's right. You know, it's it's kind of like um it's a little bit of insecurity flat out. Let's just say what it is. Um yeah. because um when you when you respect somebody that does what you do, you have no problem being gracious to them. What right. what's crazy about it is is that uh after the game, I watched Darius Slay and I watched uh Kelsey and all of the guys talk about and they were I mean, of course you won, but they were very gracious of the Niners. Gracious. You know, yeah. they were great team. Great team. Not only great team, but specific, pointing out plays and players, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, really laying, not even laying it on thick, but just being fans of the game. And yeah. one of the things that um I I I wish I would see a little bit more is the guys are just a little too cool for school. They're on a pedestal. Yeah. Like lighten yeah. up, man. Like we yeah. understand you lost. We understand you're good, but yeah. be a fan. Be yeah. a part of the game, bro. You guys yeah. are not in the show anymore. You don't have to show up. Like, you know, it doesn't take anything away from you to. It to doesn't. Be, you it know, it takes something away from you to say they're not that good. To me, what you do is, man, the Eagles are the truth. K Kansas City's gonna see what that's. That's a great team. That's what you say because it, anybody, it, it takes the sting away from your loss. You lost to yes. a great team, not a fraudulent team. What? Yes. It, yeah. And to anybody listening to that who really is paying attention, if you come off that way, that would that would get them behind you more like, yo, the Niners are cooking up some shit, bro. Like, yeah. They, yeah. They, they flushed that loss. They are, there's no remnants of it. You could tell that like, they took it and like they're really they're really yeah. looking at themselves. But yeah. I feel that's like- That's the team you don't want to face next year. That's the team exactly. that's got their head on straight and yeah. And yep. I feel like, I feel like when you see our players talk about it, like they're wearing it. Like, even even I, this is one of the greatest guys on the team, man. Like even Christian McCaffrey, he was like, "I want them both to lose." Like, grow up, grow I up. Know being, I know you're yeah. being funny, but like, yeah. you know, just pick the winner, bro. Like, come on. Like, it's we understand that you got the way you guys lost, and it's a, and it's a painful. blow to the ego. It's painful. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a blow to the ego, but it's like, bro, if you there's there's so many bad things that can happen on the other side of this if you don't let it go. Yep. You know. And it can get you know, worse. You face this team again next season in Philly. It can get worse. Come on. Wipe your hand across your mouth. Get up and move on. Own it. Move on. Own it. Eagles are good. It's you and yeah. them. It's you and them. That was the Super Bowl. It should have been a better game. It should have been yeah. a better game. But frankly, you didn't respect them like you should have. You still don't. It's on you. Next time right. you will, right? You will. Yeah. Next time. We yeah. got to show some class. And that, yeah. at the end of the day, you know, we got 40, you know, the Niners are. Um, we're a cornerstone franchise. You know, we're support, we're one of the 13 colonies, if you will, um, of yeah. the NFL. Hell you yeah. You know, and, you know, if you want to think about it, the Niners are basically the East Coast representation of football in the West Coast. They're tough. Mm. They're gritty. Mm. They run the ball. And yeah. there's not a lot of West. It was the Seahawks for a little bit. But the Niners yeah. are the team that had the bedrock of that style of football. That's true. And with that, when you take a loss – have some class, all right? But it, So that's out. another thing, though. The Eagles have sort of replaced the Seahawks as that other 
physical NFC team. I mean, they out Niners the Niners this year. They yeah. they did with Jalen Hurts what the Niners wanted to do with Trey Lance. I mean, frankly, right. they're a year ahead of what the Niners are doing. And these are the two teams that you would build that you would model after if you don't have Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen. And if you it's don't good have, to have them. Yeah. It's good yeah. to have them there. It makes yeah. the league, it, you know, it's like, what yes. are we doing all of this for? You want to play somebody that's as good as you, right? So um it, it, Yeah, it, build it, up this rivalry. This this should be like Niners Cowboys from thirty five years ago. I would, I would embrace this. I would embrace yeah. this. I agree yeah. with you. I think yeah. we need to.